More frustration for Southwest Airlines passengers. Another day of flight disruptions causing more chaos. Fox 10's Ella McNamara is here to explain why there's been a bit of an improvement today. That's good news. Yeah, a bit, uh, Christina. Now, since Friday, the airline has canceled more than 2,000 flights across the country. However, things are better today. And I just checked all the Southwest flights in and out of Sky Harbor. A flight to Dallas and Chicago were canceled. Southwest Airlines canceled and delayed flights for a fifth straight day, but the carrier tells Fox Business that service is improving. Today, Southwest canceled roughly 2% of its schedule, about 90 flights. On Sunday alone, nearly 30% of the schedule was canceled, leaving many stranded. When we woke up, our flight that was supposed to be at 3 got pushed back to 12 in the afternoon, then it got pushed back to 5 in the afternoon again, uh, all within the same day. Southwest has blamed the disruption on weather challenges and air traffic control issues, which put flight crews out of place. The airline and pilots union deny reports it's due to a sick out because of the carrier's COVID-19 vaccine mandate. But the timing of the delays occurred shortly after the union tried to temporarily block the new vaccine vaccine mandate. What we're seeing is is failures of internal processes as well as as IT issues that that don't support the size that the operation has become. Southwest struggled with delays over the summer leading to a scaled back fall schedule. From early October through November the 5th, Southwest has trimmed around 160 flights per day. Travel experts say after months of pandemic related staffing shortages, crews are worn down from the disruptions and we could see more airlines face cancellation problems in the future. Many pilots took an early retirement at the start of the pandemic, and those pilots' jobs have not been filled to the capacity that they were pre-pandemic. And the union rep says for the pilots who didn't retire, so for those pilots who did not retire, that union rep said uh, some of them who were forced to take leave during the pandemic, they are all getting scheduled again. The problem, though, is that the crew scheduling technology is so old, and according to that union rep, they just can't keep up. Ellen McNamara, Fox 10 News.